Okay, I'm outside and I'm gonna cut some metal, grind and cut. This, uh, there's some, uh, some um, wells left on here. I'm gonna get that off because it just keeps getting in the way. So, uh, <coughs> then I'll cut it off to the length. I want it three two hundred, about three and a quarter. I measured three quarter, marked it, and then when I went to scribing it. Uh, I got my scale, a little sticks and scale in them. Anyway, that's good. Cut on the outside of the line. Uh, it's not critical, it's just that you want it to fit in there. So I took about a quarter inch off the original mark and then went from there. clean it up right there first so that it'll lay flat when I try to lay it on it. Then I'll For you know things like this, to about three times so far, and then we, and my brother, used it to cut tile and cut a bunch of tile with it. We bought a you know diamond blade, and it was still working. So it's been worth 13 bucks. Well, I got this. I put the guard on it because I don't like all. The, I don't like uh, you know when it gets away from you, it's liable to hit you. So guard was off. that with my finger but I think it's flush enough. I have a metal cutting blade. Yeah that's good. I have a metal cutting blade. See that's thick. I got it thick. Uh, it's about a quarter inch thick. From, well not, no it's not that thick but anyway. Uh, I got a thick one because I want to use it like that as a grinder and a cutter. But I have cut with it and it cuts really well so it takes out a big wide spot. Anyway what I was going to say is I have a metal cutting blade in a circular saw that I've always used for years. Well, I'll round that off a little bit, I guess. Do that after.
not in a real optimal position to hold it. Definitely, uh, that's hot now. It's definitely not near as powerful as uh, you would expect it to be. I have used other people's grinders over the years. <laughs> of some of that. I did a, yeah, I just angled it more than I thought I did. There's a couple of spots I could hit. This time I'll just... See that it's shining. Uh, sometimes the phone screen actually helps me see. I don't know, it changes the lighting or something because it, uh, it's a little smaller in this phone screen. Yeah, okay. It's much better than it was. Not going to be welding to it or anything. Just going to drill a couple of holes and <coughs> mount it to the uh, drill a couple of holes, mount that part to it. <coughs> okay, let's see. Ugh. This is a good place to do my drilling, um, <clears throat> although it's low. But usually I sit down when I'm working on that, but it can't sit down when you're doing all that sparking. Okay, uh, let me go get my other stuff. And 
uh, come back. Okay, uh, yeah, this should be like that. This, uh, I don't think that's where I'm going to be drilling, I think. This, um, mark stand that I'm using it has five legs and one broke off. Well, it already broke off before and I repaired them with zip ties. And then it's got cast aluminum brackets that they're bolt, used to be bolted to. Some of them still are. But they're very cheaply made. They're radio shacks from back in the 80s or 70s or 80s. And that was evidently after they started getting stuff in China. Because uh, you never saw any metal or cast aluminum that broke that easy. Before I start drilling holes and being all happy with this part, I better go take it. I still didn't get some of it. I better go stick it in that spot. Carrying this thing all on an extension cord is pretty tough, so I don't know what to do about that. I don't want to break the videos up into 30 second clips, you know. So that wouldn't be any good. It's even worse than long ones, I think. Let me hit that corner with that grinder. I'll plug it back in. And I like to have everything all stayed plugged in. A lot of times I'll use, you know, a six-way and keep everything plugged in until I'm done working, but I didn't get, well, I've got two that are broke. The switches are bad. on that chair I just back uh, blew it off with the air blower a while ago from just d junk on it yeah that's all right that's a very rough cutting deal it's kind of hard to tell where your D burns uh, ends and where the cutting sharpness begins 
so uh, uh, Tell you what, see this camera can come off of here. I'm gonna unplug this. If it kills the video, you'll know that's what happened. It's when you plug, yeah, it's okay. When you plug it back in is usually when you have the trouble. So it's on a stick so I can carry it around for a reason. Just go on back up in here to where it is I'm gonna put this. bracket will be mounted with the arch up and I will use that uh, yeah I'll mount that well I don't know I'll get that plastic original plastic part to see if it'll help me tell me where to locate it on here I've got room to plug and uh, first I was just going to mount the oh well yeah I don't need that plastic part i got holes back there so, uh, I'll mount it in here where I'll, you know, kind of center it on there. And then I'll just stick it up there and mark through those holes. That's all I need. The plastic part, that's all I was using it for. And then I think I will probably use that original. That's why I was going to use those holes. Well, that is some piece of crap. I didn't realize it. That is, I thought it was like a thick piece of metal. I was thinking I might use nuts and bolts and not even use those same balls. Like use four twenties. That really would be the smarter thing to do with this thing. I got room to put them if I do them on the way on the outside. figured by looking at it all that and you know putting that plastic piece in here that if I put that arch I'll go get it now if I put that to let's go on out here get me a paper towel I've already got into the grease again I don't want to get it all over everything I touch okay where's my arch there it is so it's going to be like this. And, you know, pretend that I'm going to, I'm going to leave that all assembled exactly like it is. It's not, I didn't put that together this time. I did it some other time for some other reason. I don't remember. It was in my toolbox. My toolbox of old tools and parts, car parts and stuff. That bottom one is a, uh, Hold hold down cap for a U joint for that 76 blazer back there. It goes in the back uh, on that differential down there. It did at one point. I don't I don't know. I might have lost or broke the uh, tore up the the screws the bolts to go in there and use that and made it go all the way around the back temporarily to get me home. I don't know. I think, I really think I, it's been out of shape, so that's why it's not being used anymore. I can see that. But it's pretty hard steel, so it'll it'll take that spinning with some grease in there. That'll that I'm hope I'm thinking will keep it from jumping up out of there. It's not gonna jump up out of there when you fill the clothes with uh, the dryer with clothes. The weight's pushing down that way, so. And, but it'll keep it from rolling up out of there. Like if it tries to roll up this way, it's gonna fall back in. That's my theory. Uh, that's basically how. Well, the only difference in that plastic one is the plastic one was open on the top. But it was it was about so high, so that's how it works. So I figured it'll work. I'm just gonna put it up in there. That should be it'll be about the right height uh, with it like that. Now I'll put some more nuts on the bottom, and 
don't know if I want, yeah, I'll, I think I'll just kind of, I don't want it up against there or out too far, I'll just center it, there's my, and, uh, let's see, should go get that plastic part again and look it over to make sure my ideas are still right. Okay. Let's go get it. I started to bring it with me. But I thought, nah, I've already done that. But you, you know, when you have a thought like that, you should probably listen. Just out of the way again. Oh yeah, this is the part that I was thinking of using a piece of aluminum, which would be good. Aluminums can, they can make, uh, they can be used for bushings for a leaf in a while. But that, I'm going to put this in my scrap bucket where I got it. That way I'll be able to find it again. The, uh... idea here is to sort of uh, replicate that in a way. So what I had done was, I can't, I'm going to have to put this back in the tripod. And when I put it in there, it may, I'll try it again, I guess. Uh, I think it, no, I don't, it doesn't destroy the video, but it, I think it does not get an end writing on it, you know. But it still works. But uh, I'm, I'm going to see if I can put it back in there and not have to. I have to plug the camera in to the power. You know, I won't get any more than 10 minutes out of uh, out of the camera on its battery. So far, so good. No, the Hulk. Oh, that was still running. <laughs>